I never break the rules. I fight against wrongdoing. And sometimes you go too far. What do you mean? Didn't you rush to the ring last week to help Zelda? That's right. I flew through the skylight. And that's why I have to find you. We didn't have a skylight, but now we do. <laughs> From the fabulous Riviera Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, it's the show that's got it all. Action, laughs, excitement, and the world's favorite feisty, funny females, the all-new Glow! We have got a crackerjack show today, fans. The comic book hero, Lightning, squares off against the British bombshell, Godiva. The Park Avenue knockout, Rock Siasta, takes on the challenge of the six-foot-two awesome Daisy. Another episode of our own situation comedy, Life in the Glow House. Highlights from a match never seen on television before as Sonny and the California Girl teams with Shy and Chair to battle Hollywood and Vine in another glowing moment. And in the main event, the voodoo crew of Big Bad Mama and MTD collides head-on with Zelda the Brain and Mountain Fiji. We'll be right back with all the action. I admire your luck, Mr...
shoe my store morning, I take to the air and I give fight, and they will know they've seen the light. Woo! Right. Right. Oh, Johnny, whose idea was this? There's got to be some sort of uh, physical requirement to be a wrestler. Oh, now, wait a minute, Diva. I think it's a very, very capable wrestler. Oh, see. Come here. How tall are you, little girl? Come here. Come here. I'm not going to hurt you. Oh, and Godiva starts off with a cheap shot. The Briton will abuse you physically and verbally. I can't believe I have to wrestle Lightning. What kind of joke is this? She's a little girl. How old are you, Lightning? Hi, Glow fans. Hold them out, Mike Morgan, monitoring moves and maneuvers in the broadcast booth. And so far, the superhero has been engulfed by the British bundle. Finally, lightning strikes with a kick. She leaps across the ring and catches Godiva in a cradle takedown. Rucka bye, baby! And the comic star wants to break the bow with a flying elbow smash. Oh, nobody's home. The English muffin rolls out and lightning may wind up with elbow macaroni now. Oh, she goes to work on the hero's arm. The Briton probably thinking she's giving the mighty mite a hand by trying to break her arm. Stretching that limb like Johnny C does his new pantyhose. The Briton claims she's in the best shape of her life. As a matter of fact, she was given an award for form from the Florists Association. Now she corrals the superhero and pulls her into a shoulder hole. She slams it to the mat. Wait, Babe, the farmer's daughter, making her way to ringside. She's got Lightning's recharger. But the Englander is ready to commit battery. She pulls her up, and it looks like she's setting for a pile driver. Oh, she rams the hero's head to the canvas. That's enough to turn your vertebrae into Rice Krispies. After all, they just went snap, crackle, and pop. Godiva, not going for the pin. Instead, arguing with Babe. Whoa, did you see that flash? Lightning makes it to the recharger and gets a jolt of power. The hero is rejuvenated, and she climbs the corner. She's full of electricity, and the British bundle may be in for a shock. The mighty Mike challenger to a test of strength. The English muffin locks up, and she can't budge her. Now both hands. And the hero throws her off. That's high voltage energy. The hero follows up and hurls the Briton the length of the ring. Skydive is learning the hard way not to play with electricity. And now... Lightning turns a foe into a UFO again. My, but that's a large pet you have, Godiva. Shouldn't Beastie be on a leash? Godiva catches her with a drop kick. The Coventry girl hoping to pull the plug on the supercharged hero. Ooh, lightning missing with that flying body press. And the English muffin taking full advantage of this power failure. She locks her legs and pulls her into the rack. What a move! The Britisher hoping for a submission, but the comic star won't give in. The hero's strength has been sapped, and Godiva is ready to take over. If only the comic star could get her hands on that recharger. Or some weed killer. The Englander setting her foe up. She has her up for a suplex. No, Lightning able to take her down. The hero still has some juice left, and the Briton looks like a dim bulb. She climbs a foe. Wow, a beautiful scissor topples Godiva. When the superhero takes to the air, all evildoers beware.
This has not been the cakewalk the Britisher thought it would be. Ooh, but right now, she's playing patty cake with lightning stomach. Godiva likes to use her fists. She used to punch her dates out when they didn't get fresh. Uh-oh, she charges in with the Buckingham belt. And I think I heard the ring post groan on that one. Using a body to cover her gouging attack, the Englander tries to turn lightning into a Picasso portrait. This kind of behavior is really a poor trait. The ref orders her down. <coughs> and she brings the hero down with a low kick. Whoa! Lightning strikes with a drop kick. And suddenly the British bundle finds herself sprawled on the canvas. And it's no welcome act. The hero ping-ponging off the ropes. Godiva leaps over the rolling tackle. But the comic star catches her in a sunset flip. No! She smashes her ears with her legs. The Briton escaping a near pinfall, but she may have shorted out the mighty might. Oh, a devastating big splash. You may have to peel off the mat after that. The superhero's liable to wind up under the ring. Oh, she kicks her off. But Godiva rolls her up for the pin. The comic star powers out. The Coventry girl unable to put her away. She rolls her up again. And the Mighty Mike kicks out. Godiva may be covered with flowers, but lightning's been the thorn in her side. The English maid trying for another pin. Wait, she's using the bottom rope for leverage. The official doesn't see it. And the Briton steals a win. But she'll need a truckload of flowers to cover up the manure she's pulled here. to have a drink with you, widow. How come? When you say, name your poison, you really mean it. <laughs> <laughs> we, the gorgeous ladies of wrestling, live a life of action and excitement. But the biggest thrill is talking personally with you, Not our fans. So call us. The Glow Girls at 1-900-234-4GLO. That's 1-900-234-4GLO. Day or night. Calls are $2 for each minute. Kids, get your parents' permission first. Whoever said children should be seen and not heard never had the joy of listening to a child's first words. With the prices doctors charge today, is it any wonder why they wear masks? <laughs> Ragged Roxy. And the New Yorker downs them both with a kick. Poor little mix-up Daisy. 
I think Gremlina may have pulled her leash a little too tight because uh, Daisy has brain damage. She's so mixed up. The Park Avenue girl taking over. And she sends it to the mat with a big arm drag. Attacking Roxy's fashions is like stirring up a hornet's nest. Oh, and Daisy gets stung with a big drop kick. The only other time I've seen the knockout take charge like this was with a handful of credit cards. A reversal. Round and round they go. Ooh, and the big flower just bowls her down. That hit and run, putting Daisy in the driver's seat. Johnny C, watching anxiously at ringside. I understand he and Roxy both have beauty parlor appointments after today's matches. The tall grappler setting up. Whoa, and a big monkey flip sends the New Yorker over. Daisy used to be enslaved by the evil dwarf, Gremlina. But now she's thrown in with Aunt Kitty, and I doubt that that's a step up. Kitty's favorite hobby is hijacking bakery trucks and taking no prisoners. Ooh, a flying elbow gets the drop on Asta, and Daisy has been in control for a while now. A big clothesline drops the New Yorker, and Daisy's only sorry it's not a designer clothesline. Into the ropes. Ooh, that size 16 boot drops Roxy like a hot potato, and she just might wind up mashed. The big flower stumping away. This might as well be a term paper. All the footnotes she's made. Park Avenue girl crawling to the ropes, but the tall grappler pulls her back for more, pounding away at that leg. Aunt Kitty smiling so much she's getting lipstick on her ears. Daisy heaves Roxy over the ropes and goes out after her. If Roxy doesn't turn things around, Daisy may wind up planting her. ramming her into that steel ring post. The ref counting both girls out. Oh, she busted that pillow wide open. Roxy Astor, you think you're better than me. I'm just going to have to cut you down to size. And when I'm through, they won't be able to identify you. There's the bell. But that's not stopping Daisy. Oh, she destroyed that table, and maybe Roxy in the process. Put down your knitting, Johnny C, and do something. Let's see, it's one, nine hundred. That little wise guy wrote the number in Invisible Link. I'll tell you, I got no respect. That's okay, Rodney. It's one nine hundred nine zero nine four G L O. They said call any time. Does it cost anything? Yes, two dollars the first minute and forty-five cents each additional minute to leave a message for your favorite glow girl. Now that's what I call respectable. I better dial right away before they find out it's me and raise the price. One nine hundred nine zero nine four G L O. Hello, you're on the air with Godiva, giving you all the bare facts. Hi. I'm looking for a safe relationship. What do you recommend? Why don't you try dating a wheat grinder, dear? That ought to be pretty run-of-the-mill. <laughs> Next caller. Hey, baby. <laughs> you know I'm tops in the romance department. I hear you're even bigger in the complaint department. <laughs> hey, what the... <laughs> Next caller. Yeah. Everyone knows of your adventures. <laughs> but I was wondering, would three guys be a mismatch for you? Oh, definitely. I'd need at least two more to even the odds. <laughs> Ta -ta. Talk to you soon, love.
At the hair club for men, we don't believe that hair makes them. Dieter's needs are different. <laughs> But we bring you another glowing moment from a match never before seen on television. Oh, most notorious tag teams in wrestling, Hollywood and Vine! Hollywood and Vine taking on this newly formed team of Cheyenne Cher and Sonny the California Girl. Hey, Chief! Bing Crosby sang it a little better. And that's no standing ovation she's giving us. Uh oh, an arm drag takes her down, halting the momentum of that clinging vine. These street fighters always travel in high style. They stole a police car to get here today. Double teaming Cheyenne Chair. And the referee ushers Sonny back to her corner. He's got his hands full, just keeping Hollywood from picking his pocket. Johnny C. doesn't have to worry about that. He keeps all his money in his pantyhose. And Aunt Kitty distracts the official. Sonny decides to take matters into her own hands, like Hollywood's head. She leaps on her outside the ropes. And Vine gives Cheyenne a real Indian burn. There's made him in and out of the ring. The street girl tells the foe, I got you, babe. But what else can you expect when she's fighting Sonny and Cher? Hollywood making sure Sonny doesn't shine here. Now all four grapplers back in the ring. The ref warning Kitty he'll disqualify her girls, and she bats him with her umbrella, giving him a rain of pain. The street team corralling their foes. And they set for the rowboat, torturing their opponent's leg muscles. Once you're in the rowboat, you're up a creek without a paddle. Hollywood and Vine are giving these girls some introduction to glow. It's like getting run over by the welcome wagon. Sonny traps her in the surfboard. She's ready to hang ten, or at least Hollywood. Fine. Tries to pull her off by the hair. And now Cheyenne Cher attacks her locks. They're all pulling away at each other's roots. Talk about a hair-raising moment. The ref tries to break it up. Whoa! Hollywood throws him the length of the ring. She almost turned his stripes horizontal. And with the official gone, the match rages out of control. All four grapplers going at it. This wasn't supposed to be an anything goes match, but it certainly turned into one. The official trying to make it to his feet. <laughs> with a little help from Aunt Hitty. He's calling for the bell. He'd be better off calling for the police after the mugging he got. Referee Blast! Referee Blast, ladies and 
your decision. Both teams are disqualified. It's not over yet. We may have to call in the Riot Squad. Sarah and Mabel. What? Can you make a sentence using the word classic? Nine two two eight oh six oh for your free catalog. What does your bow do, babe? Well, he's a pilot and he's taking me for a ride in his plane tonight. A pilot? Really? A uh hawk. -huh. He told me he'd be flying high tonight. <laughs> what does your bow do? Well, he's a game show host. A game show host? Uh huh. Oh. Everybody told me if I go out with him, I'll be in jeopardy. <laughs> California, the queen of rock and roll, Melody Trouble Vixen, MTV! MTV! Our partner from New Orleans, Louisiana, the voodoo queen, Big Fat Mama! All you girls are such a disgrace, just wait till Mama owns this place. At ringside, I'll cast my spell, and you'll be among the bodies that fail. Yeah, you will. All the bodies that fail. I'm Melody. I love to rock. I'm the toughest kid on the block. In glow, I'll go far. I'm on the beach. You ain't to the bar. Woo! 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 tonight. Here you see first. From Brookdale, Ohio, one of the brightest stars in wrestling, Zelda Broadway! Her partner from Samoa, and over 350 pounds, the giant of the ring, Mocha Beezy! Mocha Beezy! Just is my design, so watch me as I mastermind. I will make them spin, Miss Bloodline, all again. <laughs> Glow's a hit from coast to coast. No need to brag, no need to boast. Let's have a luau with the roast. From Fiji to the fans, I'll make the toast. <laughs> Come on, Fiji, I can see you brought some sort of very fancy toy on Paul with you here tonight. Johnny C. This is from Palo Palo, American Samoa, my homeland. And this is to ward off the evil spirits. Big Bad Mama, I'm aware of your voodoo. But tonight, it's going to be different. You know, Mountain Fiji, I'm sick of all your talk. You hear me? Tonight, because of my voodoo, you will grovel at our feet. You understand? Because of our voodoo, Cheap Shots Fiji! And she rams her into the corner. When these giants collide, no part of the ring or arena is safe. Johnny C sure cleared out quickly. I didn't think he could run that fast in high heels. The voodoo queen pulling her into the corner. This feud has boiled over throughout the country. She slams her into the steel post and bounces the brain off the apron. So you wanted to see gorgeous ladies. Well, feast your eyes. Here's the cream of the crop. Big, bad mama. They don't come no bigger, no badder, or more beautiful. Do you understand me, fool? Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you understand me? Huh? Yeah! Big, bad.
said, Mama fighting like a woman possessed. And with all the voodoo she does, she probably is. Fiji has been unable to defend herself from this onslaught. It's like trying to fight a Mack truck. MTV slipped to some sort of pouch. And Mama is sprinkling her voodoo dust over the weakened giant. Could it be? I think Fiji is caught in a spell. And the voodoo queen prepares to move a mountain. She pulls the huge Samoan out of the corner. makes a bow like a servant. The big bad one finally has her foe right where she wants her. <laughs> Zelda struggles into the ring, hoping to snap her partner out of it. And Mama has the mountain swat her away. The giant would never do that unless she was spellbound. Now she seats Melody. And oh, kisses her foot. The voodoo queen wants Fiji to wind up with athlete's lip. Fans, this is unbelievable. And the action is even wilder next week as the ex-cop from Harlem, Justice, returns to put a lid on MTV. Plus, Godiva battles the high-flying cheerleader, Vicky Victory. And in our main event, Cheyenne Cher defends her glow crown against the wild woman from the future, Beastie. Mama's got her sacrificial flame going, and she's whipping herself into a frenzy. He's really gone to pot. MTV halts the brain. Zelda hoping Fiji's totem can break that spell. Melody trying to restrain her. And the voodoo queen is putting herself into a trance. And I thought she only put the audience to sleep. I have two favorite types of matches. One is a singles match, of course. And the second is a tag team match. With Mountain Fiji as my partner. <laughs> Oh, Zelda drop kicks the musical menace out of the ring. Now that's a hit that'll be number one on the charts. She takes the totem to her entranced partner. And the mountain seems to be breaking the spell. MTV rouses Mama. And Fiji comes alive. The two giants charge, and Fiji bounces the voodoo queen back. Big bad mama, Mountain Fiji's coming to you full steam ahead. There is no way that you can escape the avalanche of Mountain Fiji. Hoi! The huge Samoan stopped her in her tracks. Mama couldn't move that mountain with dynamite. The voodoo queen offering her hand. She wants to make peace. Make peace. Make peace now. Are you ready to make peace? Oh, a vicious slap. But Fiji won't let go. She won't make peace. She'll make Mama into pieces. Into the ropes. And she catches her in a big, bad peel. And the 
Samoan is not done yet. She grabs Melody and bounces her off the corner. That's one way to shut her up. Whoa, ho, ho, a giant backdrop. The Islander hurls her foe into the corner. Ooh, and Fiji leaps onto her, turning her into crushed pineapple. Since that spell's been broken, Big Bad Mama's almost been broken in two. The Voodoo Queen would be running for the exit if she could fit through it. Ooh, a big headbutt there. And she slams it to the mat. Incredible, that's over 350 pounds. Anyone else would need a crane to lift her. The rocker taunting Fiji with a prized totem. And the mountain goes right out after it. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea, MTV. You might be the next head on that pole. She tosses it to the voodoo queen. And Mama's backing up in a hurry. <laughs> she fell over her own feet. The mountain rescues the artifact. And takes it to safety. But the big bad one attacks her from behind. Back jumping is her specialty. And Zelda gives MTV a taste of the same medicine. They both fall to the mat. Melody's got Zelda pinned. And she bridges up on the ropes to keep her down. And the voodoo crew gets the pin. And I can only hope we're all in a trance at this travesty. Hollywood. Sure, I like to have fun, but I also know the score. That's why I don't drink and drive. Because once you get behind that wheel drunk, you take the chance of trading your headlights for a headstone. The Fugitive, James Noel. Police say he has a long history of preying upon vulnerable women. The Victim, an 18-year-old actress who paid the rent by working as an apartment manager. The Crime. Police say Noel posed as a prospective tenant, then shot and killed Wendy Tarr. To date, your tips to America's Most Wanted have resulted in the capture of 96 fugitives. Help make James Noel number 97. Sunday at 8 on Fox 25. What secrets can the stars in astrology reveal to you? Let famous syndicated columnist and White House astrologer Joyce Jilson prepare your personal horoscope. Now you can have the success that is your divine birthright. Let astrology help you like it's helped the rich and famous for centuries. Just call me and allow me to give you the information that could dramatically change your life for the better. Call me. Let's be partners and I'll help you make money, love and success part of your lifestyle. Is there any place Big Bad Mama feels at home? Yeah! A hangar, Marge. Good year! <laughs> I heard Zelda invented a hair product for geniuses. Yeah! An egghead shampoo! <laughs> oh, I see they found one that fits you, huh? Choose your favorite t-shirt. I love glow good girls. I love glow bad girls. Over a world famous glow logo. Order today. No, Dad. He didn't make any money tonight. But I'm sure next week will be better. Listen, we're starting to see sharp improvements around here. What do you mean I should get my job at the music store? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Yeah, Stinky, you're going to have to learn to obey the rules. Here it comes, the third degree. We're on a real tight budget around here, you know. So tight, it's strangling me. Well, you're going to have to cut down on your travel expenses. No way. I always travel first class. Oh, yeah? Here's a stamp. Why don't you mail yourself back to Brooklyn? Why, you... Hey, ouch! Hey, 